بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الدعاء هو عبادة The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said دعاء supplication is عبادة it is worship so that's why we supplicate only to Allah تبارك وتعالى from نعمان نعمان بن بشير Ibn Bashir radiallahu ta'ala anhu from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said Ad-du'a huwa ibadah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Dua is worship Then he recited the ayat where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مَدْعُونِ أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَقْبِرُونَ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي فَسَيَدْخُلُونَ سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran And your Lord said invoke me I will respond to your invocation. Verily, those who scorn my worship, meaning they do not uh, invoke me, they will surely enter hell in humiliation. Subhanallah. That shows us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to invoke him. He wants us to supplicate to him. He wants us to worship him, tabarak wa ta'ala, alone. And ask him for what we need. Ask him to increase us in good and protect us from evil. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَ وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَ وَقِينَا ذَابَ النَّارِ O Allah, bless us with good in this life and good in the hereafter and protect us from the hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us. It's actually a command from Allah and any time we hear a command from Allah to Baraka Ta'ala is the it's evidence that it is an obligation so it, Allah has commanded us to worship him وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مَدْعُونِ يَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ and he said your Lord supplicate to me and I will give to you so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us and to commands us to invoke him and he will give give us so invoke your Lord to uh, invoke your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for your needs and your wants. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala said, Dua is worship. Worship is built upon the sunnah and following the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and not upon desires and innovating. Indeed, Allah is worshipped with what he had legislated and he is not worshipped with desires and innovations. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, أَمْلُهُمْ شُرَكَاءُ شَرَعُوا لَهُمْ مِنَ الدِّينِ مَا لَمْ يَأْذَنُوا بِهِ Allah Or have they a partners with Allah who have instituted for them a religion which Allah did not allow? And Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And he likes not the aggressors or transgressors and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that after the statement where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ad'u rabbukum tadarra'an wa khufiya. Invoke your Lord with humility and in secret. This is evidence that whoever does not make dua to Allah with humility and in secret, then he is from those transgressors whom Allah does not love. Allah doesn't love the transgressors. And Allah does not love those who act as if they don't need him. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Allah loves His servants that are needy and invoke Him, supplicate to Him. The mutatahirun, the sabirun, those people who are patient, those people who are pure, those people who are humble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them. But those people who have the opposite characteristics, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is not in need of them. But they are in need of Him, tabarak wa ta'ala, and He does not love them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He describes them, as He said, إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمَعْتَدِينَ Allah describes them as the... Mu'tadeen, those transgressors. Wa'iyadhum billah min dhalika. Al-Mubarak Fari, rahimahullah ta'ala said, This is worship in reality, which deserves to be called worship, due to the indication that making dua is turning to Allah, and turning away from everything except Him, tabarak wa ta'ala, whereby a person does not have hope or fear except of Allah, ta'ala. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.